In this video, I'm gonna give a groove that is basically what I like to refer to as a basic four on the floor. A basic four on the floor, two and four pattern. And it's not just something that I say, it's something, these terms that you hear in many different places. So, four on the floor with a backbeat, a very basic backbeat that's on the second beat and the fourth beat, and we're in four fours. One, two, three, four. So when we say four on the floor, for those of you that are new or getting started, uh, it's, a, it's an important term to understand. Basically, the, the, the bass is on all four beats. So one, two, three, four. So the bass just keeps going, right? That kick, do, 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 do. And it's used in, in medium tempos. Sometimes it's used in slower tempos as well. But it's often used in a more upbeat uh, song, upbeat tempo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple different ways to play this. The first way I'm going to show you is with an actual foot pedal. Now I have a foot pedal here. Now I know they make foot pedals for a cajon and that's what I recommend. That way you can play traditionally with your foot, uh, the foot pedal facing forward so you can also play some heel toe motion da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, if you need to or so desire and the music calls for it but if you don't have a cajon pedal you don't need to go buy a cajon pedal you can try to learn and train yourself to just play a regular foot pedal and place it backwards and play with your heel now if you don't have a foot pedal you can get one used on ebay or reverb or even amazon and sometimes you can find them for as low as 20 30 40 dollars now i know that may be expensive depending on who uh you are and what your budget is but or you can just if you're playing in church you can take one from the actual uh drum set and and use it if you're playing a an, an acoustic session now if you don't the other really important thing before i get into it is also the the beater of the actual foot pedal which is very important right so if you grab let's say you just grab the the foot pedal from the cage or wherever it's at let's say it's at your church it's probably going to either have a, a a harder felt on it or maybe even a wood beater on the foot pedal but that's not going to sound or emulate the kick that you want it might get a lot more slap than you want and it since you're hitting on wood here on the cajon it's not going to be a pleasant tone and it's going to be make it very difficult for the sound engineer now i know it, you, you never know it might work it might work i'm just talking about speaking in general okay so you want an actual you know beater that is made for a cajon now i'm going to tell you give you a diy tip you don't need to go buy one you could just use the foot pedal and there's a couple things you can use that are around your house or on your person however i do recommend this gibraltar cajon pedal works great this particular one i've used for years and it works great if i need to change the sound i can add stuff to it that being said if you don't have a a, a beater special beater for your cajon you can use socks and tape socks tape zip ties even if you're at the church you can just take your socks off go find it take your socks off uh, find an extra shirt some kind of fabric tie it around and make it nice and soft around the beater and then take some tape and tape it around the bottom of it and voila you have a nice cajon beater and then you can just adjust the sound based on how much of that padding that you want to place on there so we're going to place the cajon or the foot pedal down in a nice place in the cajon it doesn't have to be smack dead center the problem with putting it smack dead center is now you have to play with your foot in between which I do sometimes but if you kind of place it off to the side a little bit in a in a spot where you can still get a nice bass tone now you can still have plenty of space for that other hand if you're not playing with a snare or anything else which is something we'll talk about in the future so i like to place it off to the scent to the side a little bit right so now that i have my foot pedal i can basically play the the bass note on all four beats so now we've got the bass of the four on the floor going two three four and one two three Four. you're halfway there right to the groove now all we need to do is add a snare on beats two and beats four so one two three four one two three four 
one, two, three, four. Now you can adjust your hands how tight you want the sound to be. One, three. You can kind of have a little bit of an extra slap or some, you know, uh, loose, play it a little looser between the foot pedal and your hand. All right, and you can just adjust from there. But that's the base of the rhythm. Really, that's it right there. The basic, very basic, four on the floor, every second beat, every fourth beat. Now, what's cool is in the beginning, you can leave out that, that first snare and just play on beat four. It's a very typical thing to do, right? One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. And then when you go to a chorus or later on, now you can play on all four. Notice how it gives steps and levels already just by doing that one simple thing to what might be the structure of a song. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. One, two, three. Two. Last time, two, three, four. Not all on. All right, so already there, it's like it's, it, it adds something. It's like going from a verse to a chorus. Now, of course, what's very important is using your dynamics, using different dynamic ranges, right? Little fill there, very simple. And then I got louder with the snare, right? Also, control with the foot pedal. Remember, it's a cajon. So depending on how you, and what I mean by that is it's wood, okay? So depending on how it's mic, depending on, even if it's not mic, especially if it's not mic, you may have to adjust your playing to give a little more bass if you just want the sound of the bass and not too much slap or attack of the actual sound of the beater hitting the, the drum. Notice if I hit it soft, it's like I got two different drums. Now if I do a combination of that, now I can add a backbeat without doing anything with my hands. takes a little more control especially playing backwards and then if you're doing anything else the benefit of using a foot pedal is now I have my hands to play other things especially if I'm using the cajon as a base of a drum like a drum kit and which is essentially what we've been doing here if you don't have a foot pedal you can still play a basic beat four on the floor you can just use one of your hands or both of them and then play take one hand play the bass notes the other hand the snare one two three four one two Three, four, one, two, three. Two. Very basic way to play it, right? You don't need the foot pedal. But what the put foot pedal allows you to do is to free up one of your hands. So, for instance, if you now if one of your hands is free, you like I was saying before, you can use other things. You can do that without the foot pedal, though. How, you might ask? Well, let's take one hand, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to play all four beats, but when we play the snare we're going to bring our hand slightly over to the right and we're going to use this whipping motion to also use our fingers but when we come farther over to the right it's more dead and we start uh engaging the snares as well but i'm still getting bass now what that allows me to do is take my other hand and add other sounds, especially if I'm using a brush or a shaker. That would be one of the main reasons to do that. Or what I love to do is play with an actual snare. Because if I'm using the cajon and a snare drum, I may use the snare of the cajon, but later on when I need to take it up a notch, I'm gonna be able to get a lot more volume and not only volume from the snare but that more traditional sound of what a snare sounds like so using the different textures of the cajon or rather the contrast of the textures between the cajon and the snare for me is a beautiful thing because now we're we're not just using the cajon only as the drum kit 
right? But we're using it as another timbre. So. So, so now I can have a shaker while I play that four and a four with the basic two four pattern. And you just want to practice playing around with the different tones while trying to keep the bass there. Try to keep that woomph, that oomph in, in that rhythm as you're going. If I come here, then I've lost that kick and that you'll really be able to tell the difference, especially if you're mic'd and you have that bass going through the subs. But even if you're not, you're gonna still tell the difference. And you're just trying to add enough snare for it to be a higher pitch and add that as an accent or the backbeat, right? So those are just a couple different ways of playing that four and a four pattern. Now, I just kept, I was just playing a two and four beat. Obviously, there's a lot of different variations that we can do. Also, a cool thing about using the foot pedal is that now I can use my hands to get other bass tones. So it's like using the cajon as a kick, but also a tom. And depending on where you hit it, it'll, it can give that illusion as well. But that's something we'll talk about in another episode. Thanks for watching. God bless you. I pray that he, the Lord will make his face to shine upon you, and I will see you soon.